Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing the practice problems for grade 8 unit 1 lesson number 2. Okay, our first problem here says each of the six cards shows a shape. Part A is which pair of cards shows a shape and its image after a rotation. So a rotation. Well, one and two are not really the same shape. This one's long, this one's kind of squished. Three is way different. So let's look at how these kind of go together. Well, one and four look like the same shape. Two and six look like the same shape. And three and five look like the same shape. So a pair of cards shows a shape and its image after a rotation. So rotating, spinning, one and four. So these do look like a rotation. From one to four, it spun 90 degrees. They took this shape and spun it, put that on pen mode, spun it 90 degrees that way. Um, Add a little to that, it's not just a rotation, it is a counterclockwise rotation. Okay, B, which pair of cards shows a shape in its image after a reflection? So a reflection, so we've flipped it. Which pair of images is that? Well, two and six is another pair, but those are both oriented the same way. Three and five do look flipped. If we had a nice little mirror right here, that would flip over this line for three and give you five if you do an accurate good job and not the quick little mediocre sketch that I did. So, one and four are rotation. Three and five are a reflection. Not part of the question, but what are two and six? That looks like a translation. That was translated down. The five frames show a shape's different positions. Describe how the shape moves to get from its position in each frame to the next frame. One to two. It just moved that way. That is a translation. Two to three. Well, that was flipped over this line. Which is a reflection. Three to four moves it over that way, which is a translation. And then four to five looks like another flip. Draw it in this box because it was up here. And they reflected it down to there. So one to two is a translation. 2 to 3 was a reflection, 3 to 4 was a translation, and 4 to 5 was a reflection. Okay, the rectangle seen in frame 1 is rotated to a new position seen in frame 2. Select all the ways the rectangle could have been rotated to get from frame one to frame two. Well, if I look at that rotation, what are my choices? 40 degrees, 90 degrees, 140 degrees. A rectangle facing this way, 90 degree rotation would have it vertical, straight up and down. So that cannot be right. So it can't be C or D. 
clockwise versus counterclockwise. Well, if I spun this clockwise, 40 degrees, clockwise is this way, it would be like that, and that doesn't work. So 40 degree rotation would have to be counterclockwise. So that works and that does not. Now we have 140 degrees. Well, 140 degrees is 40 less than 180. 180 would spin it right around and put it right back looking how it started just rotate it around um, 140 clockwise would take this and go past 90 and a little further so 140 clockwise works but 140 counterclockwise would do the opposite and giving give a facing this direction so that is not going to work so 40 degrees counterclockwise or 140 degrees clockwise will work to transition frame one to frame two i believe that was our last problem yep this has been another episode of mr boskin does some math thank you very much for tuning in